Hello everyone, you are on the Travel Channel. Today we will continue walking through the heart of Northern Italy, the city of Milan. Subscribe to the channel, put likes and write comments about what you found interesting. Enjoy watching. Immediately upon exiting the central station, you plunge into the dynamic and noisy city. But this issue is not about that, let's turn into the Sempione Central Park. Milan Arena In the distance you can see the Arch de la Pic. Then we go to the Sforza Castle, which is strongly fortified with high massive brick walls and moats in front of them. The castle was the residence of the Milanese Dukes of the Sforza dynasty. It was erected in the middle of the 15th century. Leonardo da Vinci himself was involved in his adornment. The castle itself looks very monumental and in the spirit of the Middle Ages, mentally transferring us to those times. If desired, you can visit the museums that are located in the buildings of the castle. Moving on. On the square in front of the palace there is a large fountain. The inhabitants of Milan nicknamed it, Wedding Cake. This is due to the fact that, according to legend, whoever throws a coin into the fountain will surely find love soon. Currently, this place is the most popular for wedding photo shoots. We go further towards the central cathedral. Along the way we meet a lot of chain stores, boutiques, cafes and restaurants. Street life in Milan, especially on the tourist streets, is very active and full of artists. You are surrounded by beautiful architecture, the spirit of rich antiquity and refined tastes. The streets are full and crowded. We approach the Duomo Square, where the central Duomo Cathedral and a number of central shopping galleries are located. I highly recommend visiting the Duomo. This time the queue was not big and we managed to show it from the inside. Let me tell you a little about the history of its creation and its trace in history. Duomo di Milano or the Cathedral of the Nativity of the Virgin Mary. It is built of white marble in the flaming Gothic style. The construction was started in 1386, but it was completed only at the beginning of the 19th century, when the facade design was completed by order of Napoleon. Some details were completed later, until 1965. The cathedral is one of the largest in Europe. Milan Cathedral is second only to Seville among Gothic churches in terms of capacity, and among Italian churches. The greater size only St. Peter's Cathedral in the Vatican. There are 3,400 statues in the cathedral alone. The truly colossal dimensions of the temple can be felt only by being next to it and especially inside its vaults. The total length of the temple is 158 meters, the width is 92 meters, the height of the spire is 107 meters. The cathedral can accommodate up to 40,000 people. An interesting fact, in 1805 Napoleon I was crowned King of Italy in Milan Cathedral. In December, Fairs with Christmas goods and gifts are organized everywhere throughout the center.
very beautiful evening illumination. Under the light of the evening lights, I wanted to thank you for your time and interest. See also the first series of walks in Milan, and other issues of our channel. Subscribe, like and wait for new episodes. See you.